Hello friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 107 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, I wanted to discuss about TTL setting, time to leave settings in managed virtual network IA. This is actually continuation to previous video, which is part 106 in which we have discussed about managed virtual network IR. So please watch part 106 before watching this video. Then only you will get most out of this video. So basically, uh, if you remember what is managed virtual network IR, uh, it is a Azure type IR in which you have enabled the virtual network, right? I don't go details about it. Please watch 106 as I said, uh, so that you will understand more about it. Uh, let me quickly explain you what is this TTL settings. Uh, first, I will explain the problem and then I will explain this TTL setting part. Okay, so let's open MS Paint here uh, for quickly explaining the things. And uh, let me take this Calibri brush. Okay, so generally in Azure Data Factory, we know that we have something called what integration runtime. Okay, and when you create an integration runtime, which is Azure type, when you are creating it, you can enable the virtual network. And if you enable the virtual network, that is called managed virtual network IR. This we have discussed in our previous video. And whenever you create a managed virtual network IR, then you can use that in the linked services to connect to storage accounts or the databases, right? We have seen that as well. And when you are using this in the linked service to connect to the storage, there is something called private endpoint that will also we have created in our previous video. And using this private endpoint from the virtual network, a secured network will be there to move the data. So to move the data in a secured way only, we will use this managed virtual network IR. So that we have discussed in our previous video. And in our previous video, I also said that let's say if you are using a copy activity and copy activity copies the data using this managed virtual network to the storage account so in the storage account there are two folders let's say let's say input folder and output folder so between the folders when you are copying the data then basically via this managed virtual network ir only via this managed virtual network only data movement will happen so whenever from the virtual network whenever from the managed virtual network the data movement is happening actually azure data factory service actually has to provision the ir in that virtual network first and then copy will actually happen so the provisioning the ir within that managed virtual network will take around two to five minutes of wait time that is the reason if you execute a copy activity using the managed virtual network IR then it will actually in the queue for two to five minutes or and then only the copy activity actually transfers the data so let's say in our pipeline if I have three copy activities continuously right so in this case uh, are two copy activities then what will happen so here also it will wait for two minutes plus the one minute for data transfer let's assume so similarly in the second copy activity also again two to five minutes of wait time and then the copy activity will work so always you have you are ending up with this wait time for every copy activity because managed virtual network has to provision the ir okay so because of this reason unnecessarily your entire pipeline pipeline duration will increase right to avoid this what you can do in the first copy activity if the ir is provisioned why can't we use the same thing in the second copy activity we can use that by enabling setting called TTL okay so instead of spinning up the IR every time in the virtual network we can use the TTL setting which tells to data factory use the provisioned IR in the previous copy activity if the uh, uh, if the next copy activity is within that particular duration so I will practically explain you that so that you will make sense of it so let me go here and firstly let me go to our data factory portal this is our data factory portal uh, in which if i go to manage menu and if i go to the integration runtimes you see here i have the integration runtime which is azure type 
and if I open this and if I go to the virtual networks you see that a virtual network is enabled that means it is managed virtual network IR and also if you see here uh, for the copy activity uh, I am not enabling anything so if I enable I can keep the time to, to leave TTL setting for now let it be disabled only so TT, there is no TTL setting and this copy compute is actually is the one which will perform that copy activity to transfer the data so indirectly this IR at this point of time don't have any TTL settings enabled for the copy compute in the IR so that means let's say if you have two copy activities copy 1 and copy 2 then copy activity will provision the IR first and transfers the data provisioning time will be there around 2 to 5 minutes right same way immediately even though if you are running the copy activity too still the IR has to provision in the managed virtual network then again 2 to 5 minutes of wait time will be there so to avoid that if you enable TTL setting as 5 minutes let's assume if you enable TTL settings as 5 minutes that means what will happen is within that 5 minutes range within that 5 minutes range uh, if the second copy activity gets invoked then that IR is still alive because it is within the 5 minutes range and the same IR will get used in the copy activity too as well I will practically show you this so let me apply this right now there is no TTL settings let's go to here author menu let me create a pipeline and let's add a copy activity here that will copy the data and here I am going to use the source like let's use a gen2 storage and I have a storage account let me use a binary format I will simply copy there is a folder called employee let me show you that so if I go to my storage account here in my storage account if I go to containers in the containers I have a container called sample container in which I have input folder so let's say this employees.csv file I wanted to copy from input to output okay so let's go to uh, let's go to our uh, Azure portal here the data factory portal so for the source like binary employee source that is the data set name I will give and I will use this linked service and if I open this linked service you can see we are using managed virtual network only here okay and then let me browse that location under sample container input folder then employee.csv file right let's select that as a source data set here so input folder and here we should select the employee.csv file so I selected this as a source data set let me click OK then let me go to the sync data set and here also let me create a new data set using the gen2 connector and then binary format only let me take and let me name it like binary EMP output something like that and select the linked service for my storage account and let me browse for the location this time and again same sample container in the sample container output folder okay so let's not select any file here it has to copy directly there so when it copies actually in the output folder whatever the employees.cc file is there that will get replaced so nothing to worry so now our copy activity is ready let me clone this so two times I am doing the same thing using this managed virtual network and let me execute this in a sequence order one after another now let me hit this debug execution and hit this use activity runtime that will tells it to use the managed virtual network and let's wait for this pipeline execution to complete and we will observe every copy activity how much duration it executed and uh, definitely second copy activity also will take lot of time because even this has to provision the IR because there is no TTL setting if there is any TTL setting given then once it complete when the second copy activity runs it will use the previous copy activity only if that execution of the second copy activity within the TTL timing range okay so let's see that let's wait for this both the copy activities run here if you see here first copy activity executed completed but it took 2 minutes 30 second and if I click this binocular symbol you see it was in queue for 2 minutes 19 second the reason is in that particular time the IR is getting allocated within the managed virtual network 
because data movement will happen within the management cool network only ir should be there so service is providing that ir for that it took two minutes so once the ir is available immediately in the six seconds the data transfer happened now immediately second copy activity execution invoked but if you see here the second copy activity execution is still in queue why because even this copy activity uses the managed virtual network IR, right? And again, it has to provision the IR because there is no TTL setting. In the copy activity one, whatever the IR provisioned, that will get cleaned automatically. And once again, a new IR provi getting provisioned and with that IR only, it will perform the copy activity. That is the reason for the second copy activity also. Again, it is going to take almost similar time to provision it and then run it this this leads to lot of pipeline duration time uh, that is like a additional headache for the customers right so that's the reason the ttl setting has to use it so let's wait for this second copy activity execution as well to complete to examine the results after that i will be keeping some ttl value that time copy activity one still will take time to provision the ir but the copy activity two will immediately run and in this case without TTL if you see here the second copy activity also took around 1 minute 43 seconds for IR to get and then only data transfer happened. So this additional queue time in the second copy activity is because it even it has to allocate the IR it cannot use the previous IR. So TTL setting will, or TTL setting will help you to uh, solve this problem. So let me go to manage menu now and let me enable TTL setting for our integration runtime this time. So under virtual network tab, uh, here this is the compute, the copy activity compute, which will actually get used in the copy activity. So let's use, let's enable this and uh, let's say for five minutes, okay? For five minutes at least it should be there. That means once the IR provisioned in the copy activity one, then within the five minutes, if there is any other copy activity runs with the same IR, I mean with the managed binet IR, then even the same IR will get used there. No need to spin up again. So now this time if I go to my pipeline and uh, let me try to rerun our pipeline this time and observe how the behavior will be this time. So I hit this debug execution button to execute a pipeline and uh, let's wait for the execution details to appear under the output tab here. We can see that execution is in progress since it is a first IR definite uh, since it is a first copy activity definitely that integration runtime within the managed virtual network has to be provisioned so here it will take easily two three minutes to complete it uh, with including provisioning time but the second copy activity is getting executed immediately that means within the five minutes of TTL setting so this so for the second copy activity there is no queue time it will directly run the tra data transfer so let's wait for the execution to complete here okay as you can see first copy activity execution took 1 minute 19 seconds in the queue that means IR provisioning within the virtual managed virtual network then if we see the second copy activity let me refresh this it, it is immediately completed within the seven second why because the TTL setting because of TTL setting there is no queue time that means same IR from the copy activity one get used there because of that directly in 10 seconds sorry 7 seconds data transferred happen so this is the advantage of the TTL setting uh, it will help you to make use that IR which is provisioned immediately in the subsequent copy activities without no need to spin up again so I hope you got an idea about this uh, uh, copy uh, IR TTL setting within the managed virtual network. So let's go to the presentation. So the same thing I have written here. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. If you are not getting as I said, please watch video 106 and then only please watch video 107. Thank you. Have a nice day.